We're going to hear from Janelle again, Janelle Battle. We've already heard from her one time before, but she has more to tell us. Tyrone said something to me today, but I didn't hear him. I'm having trouble getting Judy Ann's poem out of my head. Even Lupe said it was a surprise. We all thought Miss Fifth Avenue was self-confident with a capital S, but her poem was all about wishing she could make herself over. I know what that's like, which is what I tried telling Judy Ann the other day. Boy, that was a mistake. <clears throat> I ran into her in the bathroom. That seems to be our meeting place. Anyway, I decided to take advantage of the meeting. I've been meaning to tell you I really liked the poem you read for Open Mic Friday. Yeah? Well, thanks. I'm not used to writing poetry. Nobody could tell it. You know, I could really get into what you were saying about trying to make yourself over and wishing you could be perfect and all. I mean, I feel like that every time I look in the mirror. Judy Ann nodded and her tight mouth softened a little. She was about to say something, but then a toilet flushed and she realized we were not alone. Sheila Gambaroni came out of the stall and the minute she did, Judy Ann slipped back behind her usual scowl and turned mean. Look, I'm nothing like you, okay? She spit out. In case you haven't noticed, you're fat and I'm not. And you're wrong about my poem. I was just words. It didn't mean anything. You got that? And she slammed out of the bathroom and left me there, stinging from the inside out. I bit my lip to keep the tears back. I turned the faucet on and washed my hands a few times, staring at the sink until I heard Sheila step out into the hall. I glanced up at the mirror before I left. You're wrong, Judy Ann, I said to the mirror. They weren't just words and you know it. I haven't tried talking to her since. I don't want to give her an excuse to be mean to me again. I'm not mad at her, though. I know there's a part of her that's as scared to look in the mirror as I am. I saw that person for a few seconds, and even if she wants to deny it, calling me names won't change the way she feels inside. One of these days, she's going to find that out. And we'll hear Janelle's poem. Open mic. Mirror, Mirror by Janelle Battle Sisters under the skin, we meet in the mirror, our images superimposed for one split second. Ready or not, I peer into your soul and dive deep, splash landing in a pool of pain as salty and familiar as the tears on my cheeks. Your eyes don't like what I see. You don't want to be me. So you curse and smash the mirror, which gets you what? A bit of blood, a handful of glass splinters, just another source of pain. And next we'll hear Tyrone's reply. Mm, 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 Janelle is working it. Seems like her pieces are getting tighter. Actually, I think everybody's getting better. Practice makes perfect, I guess. And we've been getting plenty of practice these days. Mr. Ward switched open mic from just once a month to once a week because so many people have been wanting to read their poems. I believe there's more to this thing than Mr. Ward even planned on, but he's cool, so he keeps rolling with it. <laughs> 